Within days after October 7th, I wrote uh, an email uh, to, to my leadership, uh, both within the Bureau of Political and Military Affairs and in other bureaus, and said, uh, you know, I think we need to, rather than rush to arms, arm Israel, uh, pause and, you know, ask two questions. First of all, are we on the verge of a catastrophe in Gaza? Uh, and second of all, we've been providing billions of dollars of security assistance to Israel for decades, and it hasn't provided security to Israel. So maybe it's time to uh, think about that too before we carry on doing the same thing. Um, that response was met with a couple of informal uh, sort of calls of yes, you know, we hear you, but, but otherwise silence and direction to move forward with processing and expediting arms transfers and finding whatever other new authorities we could use to move things as quickly as possible. Um, I continue to stay engaged, you know, over the course of the next week, week and a half, trying to push back, trying to raise concerns, uh, joined in some instances by the Bureau of Human Rights, uh, who also had concerns, um, but these were very quickly, you know, elevated to very senior levels and dismissed. Um, and so it just came to a point where the human casualties, the human toll was mounting quickly. Uh, no conversation was being had about whether we should change course uh, and no conversation in Congress. In fact, one of the, the things that really pushed me uh, was that Congress typically does care about human rights. Uh, you, you may not see it publicly very much, but behind closed doors, there is always an extensive debate about should we provide these arms to this country, uh, which has a human rights record that is bad, which has engaged in you know, activities, whether they be repression or civilian casualties, civilian harm. Um, in, in this instance, the emails that were coming from Congress were saying, why aren't you moving faster? Uh, and so given that there was no ability to have this discussion within the administration or in Congress, I felt that the only place to have this discussion was to bring it to the public sphere. Uh, and to do that, I had to resign.